Hello everyone and welcome back to De-Influence, the spot where my goal is to help expose influencers for who they really are and therefore help you guys to think critically about where you're currently spending your social media currency. And I do that by showing you guys the truth that they don't want you to see, that they try to hide behind those shiny happy news feeds. Today we got a bit of a heavy one, a bit of a bigger one. It's not, it's probably not going to be super snarky and it's probably going to be hard to hear today, but we are talking about Brittany Dawn uh, Davis, I think her last name is. It used to be Nelson. It used to just be Brittany Dawn, the real Brittany Dawn, Brittany b Dog. I don't know. I can't keep up. Have you heard of her? Have you heard what happened? Thank you to those that brought this to my attention yesterday with the story that dropped. I had had a couple requests to cover Britney Dawn, but I know that she's been covered by a lot of creators. So I was like, ah, you know, we'll leave it for a little bit, kind of see what happens, see if more people request, if there is, you know, interest in it and go from there. But with in light of what happened yesterday, we're, we're going to go ahead and talk about it. And with all that being said, well, let's get into today's video. So Brittany Dawn, before we start, I am going to give a huge content warning. She is a POS. <laughs> the this video is gonna cover it's gonna cover allegations of animal abuse and quite a pattern in history of animal abuse, and it's gonna cover the story that broke yesterday as well, uh, which is a pretty gonna be a pretty hard one to hear. And then just honestly looking at her patterns over time of like obvious animal abuse and neglect, it might be a little hard to hear, honestly. It's the pictures I saw yesterday were horrific. I don't know how anyone could ever do this to an animal that they adopted, that they brought into their life. Like I'm just, it breaks my heart. And she still has animals in her care, which is pretty scary if you ask me. Like it, I don't think that she should have animals in her care. But that being said, content warning like take care of you we are talking about animal abuse animal neglect abandonment stuff like that so please take care of you first but this is really really important to talk about because she is a serial animal abuser and does not deserve to have any animals in her care ever again and there's still two dogs that are currently under her care and well maybe not even two dogs we don't know where one dog is right now apparently suppose i don't know i don't know what's going on so Brittany Dawn, I just recorded all of this and my mic wasn't working. Anyways, we got a new setup and stuff. I moved like my entire area around, literally 180'd it. So my screens are a little wonky and stuff. So I'm, I'm, I'm adjusting as we go. But yeah, we'll go back and take a peek at all of this and go from there. So on TikTok, Real Brittany Dawn, which is the same on Instagram, she has 1.4 million followers and 46 million likes. So that's... A decent amount and basically her entire instagram is uh christian jesus christian 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 grifting like just grifting 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 like all of it it's next level and then we have her youtube here Brittany dawn at Brittany dawn she has 561 thousand subscribers so a decent following i believe it was two something million view 218 million views so not super huge on youtube but that's still a decent amount of views a decent amount of subscribers you know pretty mid-range not bad for a pos allegedly not allegedly at all all right so if we go here and i just sorted it to oldest there you can see like she started off with her dieting her workout grift basically which i think is what she got in crap for like this chick actually got sued by the state of texas which like i feel like is a huge accomplishment like she definitely deserves a round of applause for that one because like that's pretty impressive for a state to come after you and sue you like okay but i feel like it was around her scam with her whole like weight loss she built a company doesn't matter we're not talking about it this episode but i think that's what that was that's how she started on youtube day of eating starbucks orders her most popular videos are eating for fat loss okay so she's got one that hit a mill most of her most popular are just the dieting Bull crap. That's it. So I feel like, ooh, look at that. Look at that. Breaking my silence. I was sued by the state of Texas. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't download. I don't have YouTube premium. Okay, so that's funny. 
that I saw that. Ah, go away. Why are you open? Fitness advice for beginners. Dating again. Single heart update. Ugh. So when was that one? Let's just say. Oh, eight months ago, she broke her silence. Got you, got you, got you. God save me from sex, masturbation, pornography, my test. Well, this sounds like a piece of uh, poo that we should probably also download for her snark, her deep dive. We're gonna find out how uh, Jesus saved her, I guess. See? This is why I don't do this. Final warning. Leave James alone. I don't know who James is. Who is James? Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Latest is all about this, like, trying to conceive. Oh, I don't know what any of this is. Our first fertility. Good news, bad news, and adoption. Oh, good God. I hope that adoption agencies gain wind of how she treats her animals and say, nope. Nope, you can't have a baby. Biblical habits. Every Christian girl needs to start in 2024. Apparently, this is bull. She doesn't actually do those things. Take with that what you will. And then let's go see if she has a story. That's all we'll do. Instagram. Oh, see, this is what I get for following her. Look, it looks literally like she's grabbing her crotch. Like, doesn't it? Why? Like, I got my baby. Like, look, my taco baby died. Isn't that so cute? Look at this baby. Like, how do you really? I don't. I don't understand. I don't understand. My baby's cuter. Just saying. Technically, baby girl's first like trip. No, it's not. Stop it. Okay, don't get distracted. Not Instagram. I'm gonna get distracted and watch his story. Yeah, right? I know. Why do toddlers have swimsuits that cut out their hips? I don't know either. Okay, so she has just Brittany Dawn, which is really interesting because if you go down and look here, Lil Brody approves of the fire. Yeah, we're gonna talk about Lil Brody. But if you go here and scroll backward, you can see. Yeah, so here's one. Oh, JK, that's just a picture. There's the other dog. Here's a picture of her and the baby boy. Growing like we we got turned away from a few dog facilities in Dallas because he's a pit bull, but that's okay. Anyway, so she still has pictures of him up on her old Instagram. But if you go to the one she is currently active on, which is, and blue check marked on which is this one 627,000 followers and like I said the last time she posted was 15 hours ago because I of course because I seen that so her Instagram and then she's got like she posted she's been posting to her stories she's like out of town or whatever and look look news dropped that I'm an animal abuser and abandoned my dog but I'm such a happy girl wearing a fur coat yeah yeah yeah. So this was a really good discussion on Reddit talking about fur coats and how they're a class thing. They kind of show your status. Honestly, how do you guys feel about fur coats? I think that they're they're weird and like creepy, even faux fur, because that's that's not real fur. Like let's let's be real here. I think they're it's weird and they're ugly and creepy and the thought of like wearing someone else's or something else's skin is just like weird i understand in like religious like indigenous tribes and stuff like that and in survival situations having to wear a fur coat you gotta do what you gotta do to survive right just like as a fashion statement as a kind of like look what i have like no thank you please and this girl's eyelashes are next level what are those things do you see them look at those things she could fly away she's gonna blink and fall backwards from the freaking force of the wind anyway so, she, oh yeah, since we're here, let's just watch it together because cause I thought it was funny. True story, last night I got whacked in the eyeball with a Nerf gun and we were a little puffy there for I'm a second. I'm never picking up a Nerf gun ever again. But I think you missed. <sighs> At Subrav hit me in the eyeball with a Nerf dart last night and there were quite a few tears and lots of laughs and no bruising praise the lord yeah i guess that's the thing to praise the lord about it's almost like that's a joke to them like they know that they're grifting on this like christian thing and they're like oh jesus can heal anything like making fun of christians who believe that and then like but at the same time they're using it and saying they believe it it's such a weird that was that was a weird comment to me. My outfit today. OMG. Let's go check out her outfit. This is a men's jacket. How much was it? $69 on sale for, what? No, that's not the right thing. Select the size. I don't know. Medium? Currently unavailable. Well, full coat, overcoat, parka. Small? Currently unavailable. Why link something 
if even the 4XL is currently unavailable. Why link something if you can't get it? What a dumb thing. I don't care. We're not going to look at your stuff. Oops. I closed down her Instagram, so I guess we're done with that. So she preaches herself to be this super hyper Christian girl. And she realized after kind of like the fitness stuff that, you know what, I can still make a name for myself and be a powerful influencer under this like Christian persona, I guess you could say. And then goes and say that she's saved and that she's this and that and this and that. And then, yeah. Brittany continuing to live life like normal and post on Instagram is making her look worse. Yeah, we'll read that after. I don't think I'm going to show any pictures here um, of Nico, how he was found, just to kind of try and keep this a little bit more consumable for more people. You can trust me when I say the pictures are horrific and that this, this poor, beautiful dog, you guys can take my word for it. If you need to see for yourself, head over to Brittany Dawn Snark and they're all there. So I have a crazy update on the starving dog we found yesterday. In my short time of rescuing dogs, I have never came across a dog that has had a microchip. Less than 5% of dogs have registered microchips, but to our surprise, this baby did have a microchip. He was shipped out of Westboro, Texas, at a vet called Stucky Animal Hospital, who closed down over two years ago. Thanks to the help of several rescuers who were able to trace the microchip and Dr. Stucky, we found out that the dog's name is Nico. He was at one point owned by a lady named Brittany Dawn... Davis. I knew the name sounded familiar, so I did a little digging. Nico was at some point owned and cared for by a social media influencer, Brittany Dawn Davis, who has millions of followers. The same social media influencer who went viral a few years back from multiple scandals, including shooting their family dog. Again, I said we'd come back to poor Brody and being sued by the state of Texas. I know this is 100% the same Brittany Dawn Davis as she was a former vet tech at Stucky Animal Hospital. I don't know what the circumstances are since we have not been able to get a hold of her. I assume likely she rehomed the dog without a care in the world where he went. If he was lost, she would be looking for him. I see no trace of him on any of her social media pages. The only dogs I see are her doodles. Either way, Brittany Dawn Davis owes us an answer and some accountability for the state of this dog. Nico deserves justice. Please share, share, share. That's essentially what dropped yesterday. Nico was found. She states that she had rehomed him in 2019, I believe it was. But there's a lot of like there's a lot of sketchiness around what actually happened to Nico. So now I'm going to open up a timeline. I want you guys to take a look at this. Just a little, little sneaky peeky. This, all of this, and I'll make it bigger, is um, her, her animals and the timeline of events that she's adopted and either rehomed or neglected or whatever the case may be. So let's take a look at what's going on here. Before 2014, before Coco here, this little, this little baby here, there was two other dogs, I believe. I don't know that they know where those other dogs are, but there are two dogs I think one's accounted for. I'm not sure about the other one. In 2014, Kita the Husky came along. Meet Kita, the newest addition. Zach's Christmas surprise. First Christmas surprise. Dog, don't get animals for your people for Christmas or birthdays. Animals are not gifts and they should not be gifts. Okay, we'll go through why. It's not okay to do that. But first red flag. Kita seemed to be around for a year or two before disappearing. Some recall that she sent Kita to training and never returned. Now, in the comments down below, they found Kita. He actually went with her ex, uh, Zach, when they split up. This dog was last pictured, I believe they, it was in 2018 that this dog was last pictured. Healthy, happy, well. So it looks like this dog escaped Bidong's wrath. In 2018, actually before we get to Harlow, that's where Nico comes in, in 2018. January 14th, okay guys, 2018. Meet Nico, the little guy needed a home and Coco needed a brother, so I snatched him up and made him mine. And then one year later, so January 2019, and she got rid of him in 2019, right? Rehomed him. My pit bull has been avoided on streets, walked away from on purpose, looked down on, labeled before given any chance, frowned upon by strangers, judged without knowing his heart, and yet 
his love is still constant to everyone. A lesson to be learned from dogs. So a couple months after picking him up, she actually made a post about being turned away from May 28th, 2018. She made a post of him, 70 pounds or seven months, 60 pounds, and they got turned away from a couple dog facilities because he's a pit bull. So she made that in May after getting him in January. So that to me and her saying, you know, not a baby anymore, April 29th, he's getting big, he's big, he's big, he's growing, he's so big, you know, we're getting turned away. Those are kind of like, I feel like she was trying to be this kind of woe is me, everybody should love pit bulls. Whereas it was more so she was like so entitled and the audacity of them to turn her away because she had a pit bull and him because he's so loving and stuff like that. I don't know. It's just, it was really, it's really weird vibes to kind of like throw those little jabs in there because everybody knows that pit bulls have to be muzzled out in public in a lot of places. It's the law. They, they're not allowed in certain areas. You go to the dog park, it needs to be muzzled right? I'm not saying it's right. I love pit bulls. They're the most, they're so gorgeous. They're beautiful dogs. And if they have good loving homes, that's what matters. Those comments were kind of weird to me. And it's like, but you knew. So this was January 14th, 2018. Okay. Everybody can, cannot see that. Everybody can in fact not see that. Okay. So Nico adopted, brought home January 14th. And if we scroll down here to Harlow, also 2018, but look at the date. August 15th, 2018, meet Harlow, the newest little one, best caption and go, a German shepherd. So first she gets a freaking pit bull designer, bully breed, and then gets a German shepherd. Now, if you don't know anything about dogs, I'm pretty sure you know that dogs need training. That's common sense and exercise. These are two very high energy, very intelligent breeds of dogs and very, very powerful dogs. If they're not trained, it can become dangerous. Or if they're trained for nefarious reasons, it can become dangerous. That's why pit bulls got banned because they're so powerful that if they attack, it's either lethal or does a lot of damage. There was this huge thing where pit bulls were being used as fighting dogs in dog fights. So they they banned them all together and then here we are however many like how many years ago did pit bulls get banned and laws be put in place and we're still dealing with but they are powerful dogs they need training they're also very intelligent they're also highly energetic what do dogs do when they don't get exercise they destroy things they get aggressive but it's it's wild to me August 15th, 2018. Harlow made a brief appearance, no follow-ups or mention of where she went. Suspected back to the breeder. I mean, maybe, or maybe she just let Harlow out on the street to go run away. You know, who knows? The thing is, is failed adoptions happen all the time. Sometimes people adopt a dog and don't realize the extent. Okay, sorry. My husband had to talk to me for a couple minutes, so I don't actually, I don't know where we were, but I think we were talking about people adopting dogs and not knowing the full commitment. For this, it's it's almost like she's adopting puppies for the clout, for the clicks and views and likes and stuff like that, and doesn't actually, I don't know, know how to take care of dogs or know what the commitment is to take care of dogs, especially like a higher energy dog, especially like a, a pit bull, you know? They need care, they need training, they need time. And when you're a social media influencer, like you don't you don't have that type of commitment to give to dogs. I thought that was really interesting that she gets Nico in January and eight months later they adopt another puppy, like in August. Okay, what are you doing? What are you doing? doing and then in april 2019 supposedly gives nico up so Brittany sends nico to training she never took him back supposedly left him in the care of the trainers and the trainers assumed responsibility and provided him with a suitable home monetized explanation video in which she's jumping on a bed looking heartbroken he- my channel it's been a hot minute it's been a hot minute since i filmed
film. My hair has changed. Um, I am doing something a little bit different. I feel like it was a good time to change that up. I really don't know what today's video is going to be about. I think I'm just gonna kind of give you guys a recap, a little life update. I did finish or somewhat finish decorating my walk, so I'm going to show you guys that. Got a new mattress. Still don't know what this is too. It's a new bedroom for revamp, so I don't much need it, and it just kind of feels good. So I think I'm going to show you guys that starting now, and then maybe um at some point here in a little bit I might make a meal. Probably not today because I'm crazy one so bad. Answer some quick questions that I've been thinking. What? Can I take you guys through my day? There will be no workout because I already um I already filmed. There won't be no workout. I've been doing this as a routine. Like I woke up, literally rolled out of bed, drank one cup of coffee, and then I straight to the gym and makeup and nothing. So that felt really good. Just kind of get out of the way. But for now, I'm gonna take you guys upstairs and show you the walk. That's where you can go hide at Oh, by the way, do you love sunbathing? Do you guys? She gets so happy whenever I open the blinds in the morning because the sun comes in and you just sunbathe like a little baby. A lot of questions going on about where Nico is. Nico is in training right now. He is um, with Bevel Dog Behavior. He is going. I don't know how much longer he's going to be. He's been there for quite some time, though. Um, I miss him so much. It's very, <laughs> been very difficult to not have him. So he is in training. He's in great hands when he comes back. Yeah, it's a whole, there's a whole story there, you guys. Um, yeah, whole story about me and him and some things that happened and whatnot. Nothing bad, nothing bad. So don't assume that. But just like, so, we, we just, yeah. What? Nothing bad, nothing bad. Don't assume that. What the frig are we supposed to assume then? That was the most, what, cliffhanger sentence I've ever heard in my life. So weren't clicking for some reason. Like, he is extremely hyper. I have anxiety. I'm just like, our personalities were completely and so Bevel Dog Behavior is working with him. Um, it's going to be amazing. I'm so excited to see the little transformation. And I'm probably going to film it as well so you guys can see that here. But yeah, I'm sure you would. But okay, that's so weird. Is that it? Is that all she talks about it? One eternity later. Spoiler. It was. I don't know. Okay. No, I'm done. I don't care. I don't know what you're talking about. So you know what happened, I bet? I bet. I bet when she got turned away from the whatever the dog facility i bet you when she got turned away it started to get in her head that pit bulls were dangerous and that it was going to be a huge point of contention and blah 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 and then it started giving her anxiety and then taking him out and exercising him started giving her anxiety and like the bulls the bull <clears throat> the ball started running i bet you that's what's ha what happened and why she got rid of him mm-hmm Okay, so August 2019, she adopts Brody. <sighs> Another puppy. What happens if this one is hyper and needs a yard? I'm sorry, but I'm so sick of so many people getting puppies and then realizing when they get older, they're too hard to handle. Exactly. Puppies don't stay puppies forever. They are a commitment. They're a dependent for nine years, 10 years, 15 years, some dogs. When they get older, they are too hard to handle and don't have time or energy to put into the dog, aka family member. If you're not willing to put in the work and have a proper yard and time to work with the dog, then don't get a big dog. Golden doodles can be very hyper. They need exercise, commitment, and commitment from their family. Rescue a dog that you know the temperament if you're not willing to make the commitment to keep them for life so sad exactly rescue a dog she's going out and buying these designer dogs a golden doodle they're hypoallergenic a pit bull she bought a pit bull those guys are expensive a german shepherd that was a purebred german shepherd like <clears throat> yeah where'd the husky go that went off to the training academy right and the german shepherd that Where'd the German Shepherd go, Brittany? Where's Where are these dogs? I mean, the Huskies with her ex, but like, where's Harlow? At one point during Brody's short life, through neglect of his grooming needs, he suffered a skin condition. This caused him to have a permanent large black patch of discoloration on his back where his skin had been affected. This is not something a vet tech would allow to happen to their dog. So I think he got a hot spot and it probably got infected or something. December 2020, Remington. Jordan's early Christmas gift. So puppy number two. We've been keeping a little secret. Meet Remy Mae Nelson. Jordan's early furry Christmas gift. A small lab mix that is allowed to go out adventuring when no one is home which is also what happened to Brody allowed to go out and adventure 2019 okay so we'll get into Harley in a second I'll finish up the dogs how about so shattered 2021 Brody neglectfully left out alone Jay Dong shot and killed him in the street after he was hurt I left the pups out because Remington goes adventuring running up to the road has never been an issue for them yesterday we came home after we got the stuff we needed at i realized he wasn't moving anyway i think we're gonna watch that movie whatever my heart shattered my dog died in a hit and run there was no saving him it was bad um and i was a vet tech i'm just so angry yeah yeah you should be angry at yourself you 
left your dog who has been known to wander out unsupervised unattended and the worst thing happened accidents happen okay there's pets here that get out not not like here but in my neighborhood that have gotten out and never come home coyotes are a big around here but also i live near a couple main roads accidents happen if an animal runs out in front of you you don't see it it happens if an animal's chasing a car her dogs aren't trained i've seen dogs chase after tires and die that way so for her for her to leave a dog out who was known to it's so sad and then here you go another early christmas gift dog december 2021 oakley my christmas surprise from my hubby a little early meet oakley coco and remy appear to be living their best life at her parents ranch has she even gotten a proper fence for her for this new dog versus the four foot pile of rocks brody and remy adventured over and out of so yeah that's the dogs so we have oakley and dax we'll come back to the horse this one is just kind of like a crappy video that she posted like being snarky so throwing the groomers right under the bus right right but if you look here on the chest and you look right here that that according to trained groomers, is likely, allegedly, matting so bad that it was all the way down to the skin that the groomer had no choice but to cut it out. Like that. This poor dog. It doesn't even look healthy. What is that red spot on her fur? Just, just throw in people under the bus. Because why not? And you, look at that face. Uh, all right so that's that as if she got a malinois like as if another super aggressive needs to be aggressively trained dog this girl Brittany dog don nelson's belgian malinois dax is as far as we can tell so far just an average to below average malinois he does not appear to be from any well-known or reputable kennel. We do not believe this is an effective trained personal protection dog, PPD. More on what this means later. A washed out police canine or any kind of sport obedience and protection dog because his teeth are not worn at all. Look at those beauties. We are assuming that he's had little to no once or twice a year biting and only occasionally Hard chews like antlers of Benna bones. Even getting regular hard chews would wear his teeth more. Interesting. So I used to train dogs as well. Um, I'm nowhere near a professional trainer, reputable anything, but I have some basic knowledge of like basic pet training. And pet quality dog may have reactive barking. He's protecting me, but that kind of behavior does not make a good PPD. It can actually be a liability, which is interesting because it's like, yeah, it could be if so, if you scare someone, right? Your dog attacked me. If any issues are worked on with a trainer, he can exist in a world like a scary looking lab. If issues are not worked on, their lives will be filled with reactivity and anxiety that he may bite someone. From the few videos I've seen him in, I think this is most likely the story. He's well behaved enough to be in their house loose and he does not appear particularly stressed in the car. He can hold still enough to make a reel with God knows how many takes, which is hard for a sport work Malinois um, of his age, even a highly trained one. All in all, he looks like an average pet quality Malinois they are putting in tactical deer and claiming will protect them. Jeez. Crazy. So that's her new dog as well. Which is like that person has a great point because they have such a great point because if he is trained but not really showing that he's trained as a bite dog which he also doesn't have any of the indication that he's a bite dog then 
then they won't keep up with the training. Let's be realistic here. But if he's not trained and they say that he's trained or anything like that, then they're going to have this anxiety, especially if they don't know how to work with dogs like this or how to bite train dogs or take care of dogs who are bite trained. They're going to live in anxiety. If she got rid of Nico because of anxiety and it just didn't mesh or whatever, likely because she was living in constant fear that he was going to attack her because the kid, the dog was reactive because it wasn't well trained. Not aggressive. No, I'm not saying he's aggressive and I'm not saying this dog's aggressive either, but that seems like a more likely scenario to me that 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 would be the reason that she got rid of Nico originally. But we are going to go and quickly check out what happened to Harley because I think it is, it's very well summarized and it's also really hard to see. So my horse was removed from this facility due to lack of care and malnourishment. I'm thankful that I got him out when I did. I would not recommend McKinney horse plex for the well-being of your horse. I am going to go find the, um, that post because it'll be easier to see. Dear Brittany, I appreciate all reviews of our facility, even those I might not necessarily agree with. To be clear, the, to the public reading this, your horse Harley was at our facility for seven months during 2018. You were laid on board once. In 2019, out of 12 months of board, you were late nine times, requiring multiple calls and text messages for payment. In 2020, you were late five out of five months. And you threatened if I made you pay your final payment, you would write a bad review on Yelp and on Google. I think it is important people know that before the healthy picture of Harley was actually taken after he was at our facility for about a year and taken on one of the maybe five times you visited him the entire time he was boarded with us. The after pictures were taken after he had been sick for weeks with a draining wound and you would not have a vet come out nor did you come to see him yourself. McKinney Horse Plex actually stepped up and paid the vet in advance to get your horse medical care. Like what the F Brittany? What the actual F? At this point you still had not paid your prior year's vet bills. As you were an absent owner, several of us took Harley over, mainly Jennifer and I. We loved Harley and did the best we could, up to and including doing all of his care when he was sick, paying the vet so he would come out, etc. Anyone who wants to find out more about Brittany, Harley's owner just needs to do a little research on Google, Brittany Dawn Fitness. Best of luck to everyone out there finding a facility that is the right fit. And there's some pictures and I'll just leave them up there for a second. You can pause and look if you'd like to, but I'm not. It's it's a lot to watch, to look at. So yeah, that's good. That's good. So she's had what I think it was eight dogs in eight years. And uh, yeah. Yeah, I just can't can't keep up with them. We'll watch the video um, of her upset about Brody. Essentially what had happened is he wandered into the street. They got home. They found him. He wasn't okay. And her husband shot him instead of taking him to the vet, which apparently was only five minutes away from their home at the time. So that's horrific. And I don't know how anyone could ever do that to a dog. But I found this really interesting. So last night when I was putting my research together, I went to her Instagram and I looked up pictures of Nico. January 20th, 2018, she picks him up. She posts on January 21st, 31st, February 6th, February 28th, and then March 11th. So it's like once a week-ish, a post about him on, this is on her old page, and now she dirty deletes a lot of posts. So obviously this isn't an exclusive thing. But I found it interesting. There was three, four times in January, three times in February, once in March, and once in April, where she's at the end of April, April 29th, where she's a baby boy, not a baby anymore. And then talked about how he was getting big and how he didn't look like a puppy anymore. And and then another month later, May 28th, so that was April 29th to one month, May 28th, was the comment about 
him them being turned away from dog facilities they got turned away from dog facilities and may 28th she made that comment and then may 31st she posted again with all three the coco horse and nico and then there was nothing until july 18th so may 31st to july 18th and that was a p.o box painting and then there was nothing until october 20th 2018 still posted now she could have gone and deleted a bunch but i don't know why you would go back and delete a bunch and not all of them like that doesn't make sense for me and they all like the the last comment was 287 weeks ago or 300 and some odd weeks ago so it's not like they're active anymore maybe she still gets likes but why keep them up if you go back and dirty delete them all unless she had a second social media at that time as well and I don't have I don't have it I don't know that's always a possibility May 31st to October 20th there was no new picture of Nico and remember in August 2018 they adopted Harlow so the last picture of Nico was May 31st and it was with the two other animals that she already owned I don't know it's just weird to me and yeah she could have been posting on stories but how do you go from posting like once a week about him to like nothing it's just really there's a disconnect there and then nothing until December 10th where she makes a statement saying that her horse is easier to manage than her puppy is and then there was nothing after that and then September 29th 2019 there was a new dog and no Nico and supposedly in May is when she got rid of The rescue found Nico and then actually got an email from the, uh, I think the place where she tried to abandon him, basically. I didn't know what an oxygen bar is. Hey, that's me. <laughs> that's so fun. Yeah, legit real life Cruella de Vil. So then you can see right here, they're at an Airbnb right now and you have the owner's crystals and incense right there that they put outside because it's witchcraft and yet someone told me that they had like a little like seance in the fertility clinic parking lot so it's like okay so you're allowed to do your religious seance bullshit but nobody else is allowed like I hate it I hate Christian grifters so much not Christians not the religion, not any, but people who do this, like, I just want the email. Okay, here's the email. So Michaela is the person who found Nico, which thank goodness for you, Michaela. You are a hero, a true hero. So hi, Michaela, this is awful. We, in 2019, we tried to help Brittany with rehoming Nico safely. However, five days after she registered, we saw a post about her finding him a home. Rumor has it she has rehomed him on Craigslist. I have no idea if that is true or not, but something I was told when I started to look into this today. We have an email dating back May 6, 2019, where we asked her for an update if he had found a home and she stopped replying to us. Please let us know if there's anything we could do to help. We would be more than happy to get you guys some resources for his care, also to help safely rehome him when he's ready. Thank you so much for rescuing him. Best regards, Afton. The Love Pit. Go rescue dogs. Go. Anyone, I, I'm sure, yeah, he's in Texas. Anyone interested in adopting a dog, go find these people. They look like good people. So essentially what had happened is I guess she reached out to this rescue here and said, hey, I have a pit bull. It's not working out. I'm looking to rehome him. And then stopped responding to their, their offers to help and be like, yeah, we're good. And what people think might have happened is that since she bought Nico instead of adopting from a rescue, like love pit dog rescue instead of adopting she bought him and she wanted to make back some of her money especially if this happened around like the loss i don't even know when all of this happened we need like a bidong like time epic timeline i don't know i don't know but she wanted her money back and that's so gross so instead of taking care of a dog adopting him bringing him into your family and assuming responsibility over this animal instead of then finding him a new home, a safe home, a loving, happy home, you just 
you went the other way or she kept him or she didn't kept him, keep him or she drove him out to the woods hoping bye-bye and he survived for a hundred years like I I'm a little hard pressed if this happened back in 2019 to believe that's that what that that's what happened but like what is going on who does this and who just like reaches out to a rescue then says oh never mind this is the thing it's like influencers are so stupid so dumb because like how do you how are you a public figure and you don't think that your actions are gonna have consequences right it just it doesn't make sense you can't have your cake and eat it too if you make shitty choices it's gonna come back and bite you in the ass and you should get all the karma for doing that to a dog and not doing your due diligence and 2018, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, it does. Sometimes we make an irrational choice or an impulse choice and it just ends up not working out. Or the dog comes in and it just, it doesn't work out. That's fine. But you took on the responsibility of that baby and it's your job to make sure that they're safe and loved and happy and fed. It's your job when you decide to adopt a dog, be it in your home or or in another safe home and she didn't do that now I'm sure she's gonna try to absolve blame and and you know totally skirt any type of accountability and be like I didn't know I rehomed him well then you didn't do your background research what did you rehome him to the first person that came to you with a check that's not any better that's not responsible of you to do it that way if that's the case and it's really gross so let's take a look at this these videos here that I have I just want to see if there's any tidbits of information in the videos that I did download and then I want to end and get this up for you guys okay let's do this one because I think this one's gonna be honestly the worst okay so let's take a look at this this is the one where she just found out about Brody and this is probably gonna be the shortest video <laughs> that I've ever made on my YouTube channel and I'm going to try to do it without breaking down completely. Yesterday, um, Jordan and I had to run to Lowe's. We had to run to Home Depot. I don't even remember which one. Lowe's. And, uh, really doesn't matter. Some errands. And I left the pups out because usually they're, they're fine as long as they, uh, are not out for like, you know, throughout the night. And so they never, they never get out. Like Remington goes adventuring, but, um, the road running up to the road has never been an issue for them. And yesterday we, until it is after we got the stuff we needed at Lowe's and, um, turned to the corner onto our street and I uh I thought I saw Brody the closer we got to our driveway but I, I, I was like that's weird like why would he be at no and then I realized it was Brody and um I realized he wasn't moving and he wasn't standing and I'm so uncomfortable so I jumped out of the truck and um Jordan didn't even have a chance to realize what, what was going on and I just jumped and bailed out of his truck and started running towards Brody and um like I wish I just wish I could unsee what I had to see he got hit so hard and yeah and and it's my fault like this is awful and I am so uncomfortable right now listening to this and like I'm sorry you literally left your your dogs out and she goes to say as long as they're not left out and you see her pause there because I don't think overnight was what wanted to come out of her mouth I think as long as they're not left out for too long as long as they're not left out for a long time and then follows up with Remy likes to go adventuring, which Remy is also missing. At this point in time, I'm pretty sure nobody knows where Remy is, so. There was no saving him. It was so bad. Um, but you yeah, took him yeah. to the vet, right? Vet tech for five years. Nothing prepares you. You were a vet tech for five years. So you knew that the right thing to do would be to take your dog to the vet, right? For having to see your own dog go through that. And um, I just collapsed and thank the Lord. Thank the Lord no one was driving around that corner because I didn't I didn't care like I wasn't even paying attention it was just like me and I just wanted my dog back and these other men pulled over and blocked the road off and um Jordan chased me 
He parked his car, chased me, and just grabbed me before I collapsed on the ground. And um, what, did, what? She already was on the ground, wasn't she? Because she was gonna get hit by a car and was on the ground. And now Jordan's chasing her before she collapsed on the ground. What is happening right now? He took me inside, and I just missed Brody. He was still breathing. And, and poor Jordan, like he had to, he had to rush me inside while the other two men watched to make sure no one else came. And. Once I was inside, like all I heard, I knew, like I knew what was about to happen. And, and Jordan, like all I heard was this truck rev its engine so loud from the bedroom I could hear it. And I know that's when the gunshot went off and poor Jordan had to do that for Brody so that- No, he didn't. You could have taken- wouldn't suffer. And um, there was no saving him. It was so bad. And I'm just so like- That's like the fourth time she said that. Third, fourth time she said it was so bad. There was no saving him. Angry. Like I'm so angry how someone could be so cruel. You, leaving your dogs out, unattended, unsupervised, in an open backyard when they're known to wander? You're angry at you? Accidents happen, but- What is this cop doing? I hate him and I'm like, no stopping, no anything. That dog was with me through so much. Like, he literally was my- I thought it was emotional support animal. Your emotional support animal. I have his little name tag on my keychain now because one of my friends recommended it. Of course, for him, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them by the road today with the fancy CVS flowers, but, um, I miss the little guy. You miss the little guy, huh? Oh, there goes the cop. He finally drove away. That was so long. What a long wait. Ugh. So, I just wanted to hop on here and, and film this because, uh, because why? There's a lot of people, like, texting me, DMing me, emailing me now too, and just saying sorry, and I appreciate every comment. It's not only just hard for me, but this has been really hard for Jordan too, because Jordan had to step into a role of protecting me, but also helping Brody the best that he could. Nope. See that? Nope. Helping him the best that you could. Helping him the best that you could would be to have taken him to the vet. And like, it's weird to me because, oh, I wanted to come on here and tell you and be real and raw, but like, there's certain things that don't add up, and there's like parts of the story that don't make sense, and it's like timeline of events, and you know, her repeating trying to convince us that it was so bad like last night too like we just wept on my bed on our bed now we just wept together and on our bed now it's been really hard so um, did they just get married prayers and uh i have like four four videos that are gonna have to go after this that are out of where i don't even care I, I just don't care right now everything's just a blur so so why are you thinking about the videos what just a reminder to hug your dogs and love them because we do not deserve the love that they have to give us <laughs> she she said it no, you don't, Brittany. No, you, you don't deserve it. No. Yeah, no. Man. Indeed. Sucks being an irresponsible pet owner. Ah, ah! Aggressive. Aggressive, B-Dong. That was aggressive, and I did not enjoy it. Okay? Okay. Oh, man, there it is. Well, we know how to do now. Let's look at this dumpster fire. I have no sympathy for animal exploiters. Let's make this a little smaller. Okay. What dumpster fire of lies do you have to tell us, B-Dong? Okay, we're going to speed this up, okay? Because I think this one, she like briefly talks about Brody. No. So I think this is where Harlow really makes like a little little surprise parents. Also, she is constantly looking at herself in the viewfinder. She's not looking in the lens, which would be like right here, this this way, right 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 here, and it's bothering me. Look how beautiful he is. He is. 
He is so handsome. I'm so sad for what happened to him. Yeah, I really don't want. Oh, there's Harlow. Right there, right there in the background. No. Okay, well, I don't know if I missed it, but... Oh, maybe I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I missed it. The whole gang has joined. Okay. That was it. That was the second time that anyone's ever seen Harlow, apparently. And I don't know. Th she might have more in videos because she's filmed so much and there's so much, but there's also been so much that's been deleted and there's been so much that has been cut and this and that, that who even knows anything about anything anymore. But whoever put together that timeline of events with her animals, thank you. That was amazing you're incredible. I'm sure that took you a lot of time to kind of dig and put together. Right now, people still don't know where Remy is and she's never come out and said that this is what's going on. People have no idea where Harlow is and what happened to Harlow, I'm pretty sure. We, we still don't know about that. Okay, so I can't find the hotspot or anything. Yeah, I can't find the hotspot articles or anything like that surrounding Brody so I'll just leave it at that apparently there was an injury and she didn't get it looked at until it because it until it started to smell which is just awful like if your dog has a problem you gotta treat it like especially a hot spot because they can get infected easily and it's just like do better if you're gonna adopt an animal understand that it's a commitment it's a commitment and I don't understand how influencers think that they can just adopt animals and then just like ship them off when they're not a puppy anymore and and honestly it's just like it's really sad Brittany Dawn eight dogs or something in eight years nobody knows where Remy is nobody knows what happened to Harlow Brody got shot in the uh, in the street she's got more dogs she's given up her senior first love dog to her parents and is living on the ranch or something allegedly maybe hopefully is fine this woman doesn't deserve animals and she sure as heck does not deserve a social media platform i can't believe anyone would do this and i guess when she was back from spring break in brecky we, we we get to hear her side of the story right because there's three sides to every story i i wish nothing but the best for Nico. I hope that he's okay. There's actually been a GoFundMe created. I'm going to link it down in the description box below to help with vet costs and um, feeding costs and stuff like that while they rehabilitate Nico. I, I, I just hope this poor dog just ends up in a loving home and can be brought back and rehabilitated and I hope we find out more about what happened to him j just for soul justice because like he hasn't been seen since 2019. What, what's what been going on since then? It's so sad. And to see like this timeline of she got this dog and threw it away and got this dog and threw it away and adopted this dog. Oh, it's not cute anymore. So time to get rid of it. Like it's just stop and stop getting animals as presents. They are not presents. It forces a responsibility onto someone who might not be ready to handle that responsibility, might not want that responsibility or to take on that responsibility and that's not fair for the animal if you want to adopt an animal if your family wants to adopt an animal it needs to be a general consensus and people need to know who's going to be doing what taking care of what whose responsibility and everybody is going to have a part in that animal's life it's not fair for them they don't get to choose they don't get to choose unfortunately. I hope the animals that are in her care right now are good. But I'm going to wrap this up here, guys. I want to get this edited and up to you guys as soon as I possibly can. Hopefully this afternoon, fingers crossed, if not tomorrow morning for sure. And keep an eye out for the Brittany Dawn deep dive because there's a lot to her and I think we should blast it on the internet again because she doesn't deserve what she has. She doesn't. What she did to this dog, what she's did to her horse, using animals for clout, and neglecting and abusing them is is next level next level evil in my brain and I know that sometimes dogs get hit sometimes things happen fine there's no way that that happened like that that she's telling the truth that she's telling everything that he was so fine and lived and happened like someone said I 
wasn't up on the screen but like they got home and even if they got home like right after the the hit had happened the dog would be acting different and in agony and it would be short breaths and she wouldn't have time to go and collapse and then Jordan go and park and get the gun and get the this and then her go and lift inside and like there's too many there's too many pieces there's too many holes and gaps and like her video with Nico like withholding certain information being super vague about it no she's a she's a serial liar like I wouldn't trust a word out of her mouth and right now as this is dropping actually really funny oh I hope I can find it it is this one girl's story the lord led us to the best airbnb like oh stop it oh here <laughs> oh oh wait 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 sorry Brittany is on the same bed as the girl recording i just want you to see her face because she knows ah nope <laughs> and watch as it pans around to her face Look at that face. She does not look impressed. Look at that. And then like slams it down. So this was posted at about the time that the story dropped. Who just records their friends' interactions constantly? I would feel like I could never be myself with these people. Yeah. Yeah. Legit. I think it all they all have the same mindset, so it doesn't matter to them exactly. Yikes Amundo, they're having a great time that's yeah nah oof they look like they're having a wonderful time someone's really annoyed beyond she was angry texting someone then then she's just so pissed off she can't even fake her fakery when she's being filmed but she came back and started fake fakerying the fakeriness anyway i just wanted to show you guys that really quickly because i thought it was really funny i might put it in at the front because it's like yeah you can't do things and get away with things if you're a person and expose yourself on the internet I'm sorry it it's so amazing to me that these influencers keep doing stuff like this and then keep trying to justify it right maybe not the animal abuse it can be anything exploiting children abusing animals abusing staff customer service staff going and starting fights or giving you know texting people and threatening people you can't just do that you can't just be a person and not expect people to not call you out on your bull and that's why I'm here because no I'm no it's not okay stop stop just just be real be genuine be authentic and own up to your mistakes and apologize for it if half of these people took a step back and apologized and then were just stupid annoying people whatever it'd be fine if someone actually steps up and takes accountability and changes not just in front of the camera behind the scenes then heck i'll take my videos down about you consider it a challenge because I do think people can grow and change and learn from their mistakes. But you have to take accountability. You have to admit that you did something wrong in order to be able to grow. We're going to end it here. Thank you so incredibly much for all your support. Thank you to those who reached out to me and brought this to my attention. It is so important to talk because she doesn't get to go and have fun on spring break while she left a dog to start. So, and where are her dogs right now? This is all I can think. She's on vacation. Well, they're probably in a boarding facility. What, that she's never going to pick them up from? You know what I mean? It's just, it makes it worse somehow. But thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you for all the love on previous videos. I appreciate you guys so, so incredibly much. If you did enjoy this video, I hope you'll stick around and subscribe. Hang out a little bit longer. It helps my voice to grow and to get more of a reach and get this in front of more eyeballs, which I think is really important because these people need to be called out. They don't deserve to live these awesome lives, go on free vacations, get a whole bunch of free stuff, like the world handed to them on their silver platter and be like this behind the scenes. It's not okay. And it's time to make it not okay. Time to take back your social media currency from people like this and give it to those that deserve it. And we can do it. We can make that shift. First, we got to ghost the bad guys. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day wherever you are in the world. And I will speak to you all soon. Bye guys.